it around next week. But I figured football game's over. Why don't we do it right now there? You know, sure. Because sure. since everybody else is too scared to debate you and everything sure. like that. But here's here's my thing there, Richard. And this is the point I was trying to make there. Me and you, we don't we don't define the dynamics of any type of relationship whatsoever. And I got plenty of friends that ha are that are dating, that are vegan, and they're non-vegan there as well there. Now, as far as that's concerned there, as far as the Nazism is concerned, you know, we're talking about two completely different things because here, here's the thing there. Nazis, the reason why they went and gassed the Jews was because of, you know, because they wanted to exterminate them. It was the final solution to whereas a non-vegan, they eat, you know, people like me, we eat meat in order to survive. We consume the food. You didn't see Nazis up there eating the bodies of Jews, right? Yeah, I don't but see you that also as... Uh... Not only that, you also proved my point because I wasn't even aware... I had heard stories about Jasmine feeding that dog animals and stuff like that, but I was never, I never really got into that there. Sure. So yeah. basically you just proved my point essentially there. You, did you get a divorce from her? Well, no, but if that were to have kept going on, um, I would have, the, the whole thing was she was going to stop doing it. But by um, your own admission, at that time she was a Nazi, right? In your in your definition, as far as if a vegan went and uh, dated a non-vegan or so forth, and because she did feed that dog meat, that means that she contributed to the death and suffering of animals. So, by your definition, is she is your wife Jasmine a Nazi? Yes or no? Yeah, I don't know if it's uh, as easy as a yes or no, but um, yeah, certainly you, she did. Certainly she did something wrong and something that I uh, was certainly against. Um, I think it's morally wrong. Yeah, but here's sure. the thing. What really got me upset and the reason why I wanted to get it on tonight there was because you because someone sent because I'm up here watching a football game and someone sent me this message saying, hey, Vince, he said this and said that. You know, probably just, the, and you know, I'm a, I will admit I'm riled up, been drinking a little bit there. You know, it was a good football game, you know, and stuff like that. Yeah. And, you know, the thing about it is, is this here, you know, you had made this whole thing about Nazism and stuff like that. But yet your girl, your, your, your wife, and this is why I said you needed to really think about that. Because here's the thing. I made that video there. I, it, I pre taped that on Friday. I, I haven't made any videos today, actually. I just had it the word automatically loaded there. So I wasn't even aware that your wife had actually fed a dog meat there, essentially. So at that time, was she a Nazi? Well, in, here's your, the, in your definition. Yeah. So here's the difference. Like we talked about this, obviously. Um, she the whole reason she was doing it was because like literally a family member that she was in love with what like loved was dying and um she kind of was panicking and thinking of anything she could do to prevent this dog from dying and really it was just a simple solution she just needed to feed her uh, pancreatic enzymes so it's right. a it, it's a significant difference between that and saying I don't care about animals. I'm going to kill and eat them. Well, how yeah, is that understand? a difference there, Richard? How how is that a difference here? I well, mean, you just you just said that she. Fit, I mean, because uh, I mean, let me look, ask you. I'm this not. Year because... I, I'm not. I'm not saying what she did was right at all. And yes, yeah, certainly, um, if you're paying for meat, it is tantamount to Nazism. Um, I just think she ended up doing it out of. Um, not knowing what was going on, being in a state of panic. And I think at that time she'd only been vegan for like maybe three years or something. She, I don't think she was as stuck into the like ethical ideas as I was. So, um, okay, but sure. You I, I guess, so that was, I, I guess you to answer your that question, that sure. Right. But that yeah. says that you compromise between that situation, <clears throat> right? So what makes that different from any other yeah, relationship? So, well, I'm not saying compromise is a bad thing. Like when I'm 
when I'm giving advice, like, okay, yeah, if your partner's like saying never, it will never go vegan. Like, obviously that's just advice. If you want to date somebody who isn't vegan, as long as you're not contributing to a rights violation, I don't see what the issue is. It's just that for me personally, I don't think it's a good idea. I think it will likely lead to an unreconcilable differences. And that's from personal experience. That's from seeing other people who had issues with similar experiences. A lot of women who are in vegan activism have uh, boyfriends or husbands that eat meat and creates a shit ton of fucking problems in their relationship. So I was just giving general advice what I thought. It's not like I'm some like weird relationship God where I'm telling people don't ever do this because it's like some sort of moral imperative. It's just advice. But right, yeah, but like, I mean, if you're going to ask me, you, sure. Like, like, let's just get through compromised. Yeah. So we compromised. Sure. But like to get through this. Yeah. Um, what she did was tantamount to Nazism. I would agree. Okay. So sure. <clears throat> But you didn't. But here's the thing. You're still married, right? Yeah. OK. But again, so like you have to. So you have to. Again, I mean, this is this is what again, I'm trying to tell dude. you here. You got to be really careful as far as to just automatically just saying, OK, that person's a Nazi and that's it. That's extremism there. There no, always has to no. be. And, and, and even you. Well, you this is where the debate is for your wife, Jasmine. Did you not? Yeah. But this is like. I, I don't see how this really relates to the, the shit that happened with us, but like, this is where the debate is. 